Welcome back to Bathologic Classic HD. At the end of the last episode, I was about to begin a feverish search for Willow, the Hunchback's daughter, and for young Barak. Now, I still don't know anything more about the location of Willow, but I do know more about where young Barak is. I was just going to search for him completely on my own without looking up anything, but I realized that's completely absurd. The game obviously expects me to know the general area that he's in based on the information that it's given me. Because even in the quest log it says... I mean, it says... With all the information I've collected, finding him shouldn't be that much trouble. Yep, he's in the works. There's a few separate workshops there. It seems to think like, yeah, this is obvious. He's in the works. He's around the workshops, you know? You're supposed to know where he is, but I don't know where that is. Or at least I didn't. So I just looked it up in the walkthrough, and it turns out there's like a million different names for the place where Barak is, or the place around where Barak is. Okay, when Laura Ravel told me that he's in the works, she meant this. This area, all of these factory buildings, this is the works. So Laura calls this whole place the works, and the walkthrough refers to this place as the plants. I think that's referring to all the places as the plants. And it also refers to this place as The Machine, which is the only actual real name for this place, The Machine, or Building Number 4. And as you can see, the quest also calls it... The Workshops. The Works is The Workshops, and when it says Workshops, it actually means Factory Buildings. <laughs> There's like a million names for this place. The Works, The Workshops, The Plants, The Machine. It's so freaking confusing. But yes, he's here. He he's just, he's right here. This building, the one that's red. So, problem solved. Oh, I love this game, but it can be really frustrating sometimes. And not frustrating in a fair way, but frustrating in a it doesn't communicate things properly way. But yes, let's go find young Barack. What time is it? 12 o'clock? Okay. It's noon, we've got plenty of time. Where's the door to this place? Ah, here we go. Uh... What? Are you kidding me? the key. I am so confused. I don't think the walkthrough mentioned anything about a key. Hold on. Well, I just spent like 15 minutes running around because the, uh, the walkthrough didn't give me any more help than it already gave me, which is to tell me to go to the machine. So I just went around and talked to people to see if I maybe like missed a dialogue option that would give me a key to the machine or something. And then, finally came all the way back here, and, well, everything was the same. So then I thought, okay, what if I try some of the other factory buildings in the works? 
And it turns out, you can go inside of this one. The butchering room, building number three. I don't know if this means this is where he's being held, and he's not actually being held in the machine, or, or what. The, the walkthrough specifically states that he's in the machine, the only factory building south of the tracks. There's no mistaking it, that must be this. Plus, it's the only red building down here, so I, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore, but let's go in here and, and see what's what. There he is! That's him! I've seen him in screenshots in the walkthrough. What the hell? The walkthrough specifically stated he was in the machine. Ah, <sighs> the walkthrough is for the old version of the game. Is it possible they moved him in the classic HD version? I don't know. I, I give up trying to understand what the hell's happening this day. I'm so confused. Just... Let's clear our minds. Take a breath. Okay. I need Barack's help. I need him to cut open somebody and give me a living heart. Or uh, a heart out of a just living person. <clears throat> Actually, I should make a hard save here. You've got no business around here. Move along. I have the right to go anywhere I want. Yeah. Asshole. No trespassing. I'm not a trespassee, just a passerby. What about you? Are you, by any chance, the infamous dangerous offender? What's in it to you? Hmm. Okay, three different tactics I can go with here. Straight up, give him a command. Say that I'm to take Barack to the governor's office. Or say that an order came through to transport the prisoner to the town hall. Hmm. Let's go with that. An order came through to transport the prisoner to the town hall. If this were the case, people of lower rank and heavier build would have come. We know who you are, Doctor. You are kindly joking, aren't you? Hmm. I'm not. Bring the prisoner here. I was strictly ordered by Governor Sabarov to guard the prisoner with my life. There was a special order, too. If the prisoner dies of the sand pest, we ain't supposed to bury him or give the body to the undertakers. We are to inform the governor in person and await further instructions. Don't you think that's a bit too strict? Strict my ass. We put almost 70 people behind bars yesterday. On suspicion, of course. Killed loads of folk, too. Must have been thugs and cutthroats, the ones we've killed. I've heard their thug friends are all up in arms, planning to take revenge on us. But they're out of men. And out of luck. Is that so? I think you'd better stay alert, kind sir. The underground world has its ways of keeping its real power disguised. Perhaps grief could be an unexpected ally in this matter. Why get my hands dirty? I'm not ready to throw away my reputation yet. Huh. Get some thugs to stage a bit of a jailbreak? Sure. I'll be back. Soon. Can't talk to you directly? Nope. Is there anything in these weird, empty halls? Nope. Just weird emptiness. My exhaustion's getting a, a bit high, but forget that for now. Ah. <sighs> 
Uh, something that I can't put out of my mind, unfortunately, is that when I was looking at walkthroughs to try to figure out where in the hell Barak was, unfortunately, I did find out a bit more about Willow. I wish I didn't know anything about Willow, because it feels cheap, but now that I know, like, I, I can't ignore it. So what I did find out about Willow is apparently I'm supposed to go back to Anna to ask about the Hunchback's daughter, to ask about Willow, and apparently she knows more. Which is strange, like, I'm not sure how you're supposed to even think of that. I mean, she does know the Hunchback, so it makes sense that he would know something about him and, I suppose, his daughter, but why would she know where his daughter is? I guess maybe he might know her usual places that she likes to hang out in? Possibly. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh, no loot. So yeah, I'm gonna go talk to Anna. Feels cheap. I don't like it, but I can't unknow what I learned. Uh, I don't want to fight this guy. I've got limited ammunition. And I could use more food. Yeah, I'll take some bread. And I could buy a lemon, too. Yeah, let's buy another lemon, because my exhaustion is getting high. And I don't know how much time I'm going to need to complete the rest of the things I want to do for the day. Oh, one thing I need to remember to do, by the way, that I keep forgetting, is I need to keep going... I need to make sure I visit clothes shops that I find along the way. Because people told me told me that they actually sell needles, which then you can use to trade to the children. So I never thought about that, but I should buy as many needles as possible. Because they're pretty cheap. Ooh. is hard. He's willing to pay. I didn't even have to threaten him or mention your name. On what terms? I beg you, tell me the terms. He wants me to find his daughter in an infected district. I have no idea how to do it, though. What? No, that's not true. He didn't say she's in an infected district. I remember very specifically, I asked him where she might be, and he said she could be in an infected district. He didn't say she is. Oh, I see. Yes, I know who he's talking about. She's not his biological daughter, though. He kidnapped her from a family of poor weavers eight years ago, planning to fashion her into a dancer. But at the eleventh hour, he changed his mind and adopted her. And now he adores her. So, she's disappeared, huh? Huh. He kidnapped her. Okay. That changes things. Especially with the way he was talking about her being... So, so beautiful. Why do I suspect he has a very unhealthy relationship with her, beyond just the fact that he kidnapped her? Is this your handiwork? Now that was just mean. Who do you think I am? A man-eater? Why would I steal children? And she's not a child anyway. She's a grown-up girl already. Uh, she's 17. Do you know where I can find her? Yes. Try your luck asking around in the pub. She used to have a side job there. Nightly, keeping it secret from her foster father. The new outbreak may have caught her right there. Perhaps she was unable to get home before dawn like she usually does. Oh, so she's the dancer. The dancer that I tried to talk to, but I couldn't, because I guess I didn't know that was her, even though it kind of looked like her and I suspected it was her. Okay. You told me he's filthy rich. Why didn't he give her pocket money? She did this for pleasure, you see. 
She enjoyed dancing naked and drinking the thick twy rind which flows like water there. I doubt the hunchback would allow her all this. Well then, I'll ask around in the pub. You're a clone. That's really weird. You're the third clone I've seen. You're the third clone of almost naked people wearing seaweed that I've seen. Why are you giving me that look? Is Var the Hunchback your father? Did he send you? Hmm. I can say that I want to get her out of here myself. I mean, Jesus Christ, if I take her back home, I'm taking her back to her kidnapper. But where the hell am I going to take her? Hmm. What can I do with her? I mean, do I have the means to actually get her out of here? But nobody can get out of here right now. There's a freaking quarantine. I guess I'm just gonna go with it for now. Yes, he's worried about you. Come with me. The streets are unsafe, but I'll make sure that you get home in one piece. But I don't want to go. I'd rather stay here. My stepfather is a burdensome custodian, and I've had enough of it. So he's not your father? Well, I already know that, but let's say it anyway. That's a very complicated question. When I was a child, he kidnapped me from my real father. And when my father came to rescue me from the caravan, Var killed him. He did it because he loved me. I only found out about it yesterday. So what am I supposed to feel? I... <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. Angry? That he killed your father and kidnapped you, probably? Let him know of her whereabouts or just take her. Uh... really know which one I want to go with. I'll just let him know of your whereabouts then? No, please, don't do that. He has no idea where I spend my nights. If he ever gets even the slightest hint of suspicion of how I choose to spend my leisure time, he'll tear both the owners and the patrons of this lovely establishment to pieces. But that's alright. I will speak to him, personally. I'll tell him I've had enough. What do you mean, you've had enough? These are the last days of my life, and I intend to spend them like I want to. That is to say, here. But I'll be the person to tell him that. I'll be waiting for you at 9 o'clock in the blind backyard. We'll go see him together. Will you stand up for me if he resorts to physical violence? Uh, where is the blind backyard? I'm assuming that's just right next to his house. I'm going to write that down just in case the game decides not to keep that information in the quest log. Lined Backyard. Why not go right now? There is still something I have to do here. We'll meet at 9 o'clock when it's dark. I'd ask you to pick me up, but that would be impossible. I can't be seen picked up by a man. All right, just be careful. Okay, good, it actually marked it on my map. 
Meet her there at 9 o'clock. That's in an infected district. Shit, why do you want to meet in an infected district at 9 o'clock? At night, what the hell? Blind backyard, more like the blighted backyard. Jesus. Okay. 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, it's 1 p.m., so we've got 8 hours. Plenty of time for now. Okay, now I need to visit a bad grief. See if I can hire his thugs to help me with getting Brock out. behind the guards. They're not even turning around to look. You know there's a murderer right behind you, right? Right right there? You know? Murderer? Gonna murder? Innocent folk? Yeah. Good job. Alright. The only safe way or ways in are one of one or both of these two places down here. These two places have infection just waiting for you. So let's go straight and then take a left and go through the southern entrances. And I need to remember close stores, close stores, close stores. Buy needles. Hello, youth. Give me your everything. Hmm. I. Uh, oh wait, I can trade the needle. Okay. There we go. Perfect. I want to make sure I don't give her extra stuff if I don't need to. One ring and a couple needles for some. Antibiotics, and around. What's the news? This Clara, the make-believe saint girl, is actually a dirty liar. Oh yeah, I was confused about who Clara is, by the way, and somebody in the comments told me that it's actually the... the Changeling? One of the other playable characters. Oh really? Did she lie to you? Not to me, no. But I now know very well that she's not who she... ...prenetteds it to be. <laughs> There's so many misspells. Who is she, then? When she lays her little hands on someone, people die. Everybody said she had a healing touch, but it's the other way around. Better avoid her embrace. Her hands are far from tender. Did you actually witness anyone die? My little brother told me he did. She walked right behind an armed mugger as he squatted laying in ambush. Little brother was keeping an eye on him. Clara put her palms on his eyes. He gave a jolt, and then he went quiet and fell down stone cold very soon. And Clara just laughed and walked away. Quite a story. Ah, I can trade my walnuts and hazelnuts to her. And the flower. Beta tablets. Wait, why can't I take the beta tablets? Well, that's weird. I can't take them, but I can take these. Oh, am I out of inventory space? Hold on. Yeah! So you can run out of inventory space, but it's just per category. So yeah, I've got all my slots for drugs filled up. Okay, so let's just take the tourniquet then. Then I've got an extra slot. Now I should be able to get them? Yeah, there we go. 
and I'll take all of the alpha tablets. Clothing stores, clothing stores, clothing stores. Don't forget. I'm probably gonna forget, but don't forget. Oh, you have a lot of drugs. Perfect. I have just enough to take everything. At this point, maybe I should stop buying drugs, honestly. I've got 16 Meridorum, 10 Alpha Tablets. Five of these? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna stop buying drugs. I think I need to save my trading goods for ammo at this point. Crap, I went way too far. Uh, can I go this way? Where the hell am I? Wow, okay. loans a minute owes a year in interest. Grief, how would you like to kill a few patrolmen? You won't be held accountable for this sin. Jesus Christ, so I'm not just hiring them to break them out. I'm actually hiring them to kill people. Doesn't this go against the Hippocratic Oath? Well, maybe not. I could just justify it as... It's for the greater good, because this is for vaccine research, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, of course. Who's to guarantee me that? You? Um... I don't actually know. Let's just ignore it. They've got Artemy Barak. It, so what? I mean, I'd like to. I would, Doc. Like I'd ever pass on the chance, but eh. The honey's sweet, but the bees sting. Them patrolling bees are much worse than them worker bees, you know. They hit hard and without a shred of pity. Organized, too. They'll show us no mercy, they won't. Their orders are we deserve no mercy. We deserve being strangled, exterminated, and buried alive. I try to convince him to do it because he'll be avenging their dead? Hmm. Yeah. Let's try to talk him into doing it by saying that. Avenge your dead, Grief. It's a good opportunity. Bring the patrolmen down. They'll get what they deserve. Why would I, Doc? They ain't no fuzz, you know. They used to be our lot. They're doing their job just fine. Tis their duty to hold the pest back, it is. Indeed. But the exact persons I'm talking about have abandoned the community service for the favors from the higher-ups. This is the dear kind of help, dear Doc. It won't come cheap. Hmm. How 
many thieves do I need to bail out? Bring us ten grand. I'll bail out my hawks. Arrested on filthy slander and false accusations myself. Their only option's a noose anyway. It is, so we'll bail them out and send them to extinguish them enemies of yours. Doing some good for our good, Doc. Fine. I'll set them free myself. No, don't you even think about it. Like they'd ever care which of them jail meet is our lot and which are just random folks. You'll bail out the wrong ones. And then what, eh? Now for the love of what's holy, don't you go to Sabarov with that. I know my way around them corpse bringer guards, all right? Ten grand, Doc. That's all that's required from you. And no bargaining. This is not a good time to bargain. I've set my word and shown you my price tag. Deal? Where should the forces of justice strike? Barack is kept at the works, in a building that... Got it, I know it. The cellar of the corpulent workshop. Roger that. As our forefathers used to say. Corpulent workshop? Hold on. I'm gonna write that down as like a fourth name for the place. Corpulent workshop. Where do we meet? Wait for my villains. The attack begins just like that, no warning. Be prepared. It would be a pity for you to miss out. I'll be ready. Don't touch Barack. Do you know what he looks like? We know everything, Doc. We do. Little birds tell us every single thing. Now shush. Go to the ambush and wait for us. Fine. Yeah, so how many damn names for this place are there? So this entire place is called The Works. It's also called The Plants. Uh, this place is called The Machine, which is the only thing that actually has the... It's <laughs> the only place here that's actually called by its actual name on the map. Um, and also, this place is referred to as The Corpulent Workshop. Jesus Christ. Alright, so I guess the ambush starts as soon as I get there, probably. You know, it's... it's kind of funny. I'm starting to get better at understanding what this game is trying to communicate to me. Because the way this game communicates is very bizarre. It tells you it tells you all sorts of things, but the problem is, a lot of what it says is just complete nonsense. A lot of what the game tells you is just like flavor text, it's not, it's not real. Like when Aspidy, or whatever her name is, told you to wait an hour before going to the Butchers in the Infected Tanners District. She told you to wait an hour, but you don't have to. But waiting doesn't do a damn thing. You just go there right away. And same with this. He says go there and wait for the ambush, but there's nothing to wait for. I'm sure I'm just gonna go inside and it's already gonna all be done. Watch. What do you bet? Oh, there's actually a cutscene. Get him! Yeah! <gasps> no! Come on! Oh god! I was trying to get a headshot because I don't want to waste ammo. Alright. Oh, shit! I just pressed new game. Whoops. Let's try that again. But yeah, a lot of what this game tells you is just complete nonsense and you could ignore it. my reputation quite a bit. Uh, a little bit. Maybe like 
Hey, here's the key. All right. Damn, can't even loot the bodies. All right, Barack. Hi. I'll make a panacea. It's the only way to fulfill my father's duty. Oh! You're young Barack? The Haruspex. That's the other playable character. Holy shit! I didn't know that. I, I didn't realize. Was I supposed to know that the Haruspex was the young Barack? Yeah, this is another playable character. I wonder when I'm going to meet Clara then. If I meet this guy, I probably meet Clara at some point. AKA the Changeling. Huh. Does this mean that if I played as the Haruspex, at some point in the story I would end up in jail and I would get freed by the Bachelor? Would this happen, but I would just be seeing it from his eyes instead of the Bachelor's eyes? And so we finally meet... Oinon? Just a pair of pawns on this dreadful chessboard where each square is blacker than black itself. Are we friends or are we foes? Will one consume the other? Or will we part, each striving for his own victory? How can we be foes if we're fighting a common enemy? I'm glad to hear you say that. It's a shame we aren't standing together. I lack your knowledge. I'm blindfolded and can only follow my heart and my intuition. Here's a piece of advice for you. Don't trust those who volunteer to be your guides on the path to victory. But the real battle is still ahead of us both. You mean the battle against the pest? I mean the battle against you. We may not be foes, but I have a strong feeling that we will end up opposing each other. Each of us will try to tilt the balance to his own advantage. I don't know what you're talking about, although I can probably guess. Whatever the outcome, I will remain true to my conscience. If you're allowed to. My freedom has already been taken away from me. Do learn from my mistakes. And how in the world did that happen? How did you find me? Reuben is worried. He's been waiting for you all night. So I've tried to find you, and my search has brought me here to the works. I see. Master Reuben wants to take care of people. I admire that. Will you help us get an infected heart? I will. I'll be working alone, though. Meet me in the blind backyard at nine... What? Nine in the evening? That's the... That's the same location at the same time that I'm supposed to meet Willow at. What the hell? That can't be a coincidence. Right? Uh... He's not going to cut out Willow's heart, is he? That wouldn't make any sense. It needs to be the heart of a highly infected person who's at the critical stage. Who's about to die, basically. When the... When the sand plague has accumulated in the heart. But this is way too creepy and coincidental. Jesus, some, I feel like something really bad is gonna happen... Uh, gonna happen... In the blind backyard at nine. Something really bad. I'll pick out someone whose foot is in the grave already, take them to a dark corner, and start working. I'm likely to move around a lot, so look for me in the neighborhood. Why nine? That's when it gets dark. I've got enough enemies in the town already. Darkness offers protection. What if something unexpected happens? I'll cut open the dying person and start working. If they find me, I'll lead the pursuit elsewhere. If that is how the situation unfolds, You'll have to pick the heart from the body yourself. I hope my harvest will be good for stock and you. I'll find you, Barack. Ah, 
Willow, why did you want to meet there at 9 o'clock? Why, why, why? Okay, uh, let's take stock of the situation. Letters. Uh, still no other letters other than Anna's. Okay, quests. Need to meet him at 9 in the blind backyard. Mm-hmm. Let's see. And Willow has agreed to meet me at 9 as well. Hmm, some interesting information here. It is clear that there is more to her story than immediately meets the eye, but the circus performers were reluctant to indulge any information to me. Could it be that I'm walking into a trap? A risky move. But I'm not so naive as to not see it coming. Could definitely be a trap. It is a suspicious and dangerous neighborhood to set a meeting up at. Okay, so the main quest and one of my side quests is going to have to wait until 9 o'clock. Uh, there is still the innocent ones. Demanding 10,000 per person to release them. I'm sorry, I can't afford that. I've got 30,000. I could free three people. And then I would be extremely poor. I can't afford that until I know what happens with Willow. You know, if the Hunchback gives me a bajillion dollars for helping out Willow, then, then maybe. Maybe I can spare it, but right now, no, I'm sorry. Well, I guess I should probably just, uh, sleep, and then meet them there at 9. Yeah, so let's do some gathering while we're waiting. Let's uh, gather some bins, let's maybe eat some food, let's find somewhere to sleep. Uh, how are my stats looking? Health, okay. Uh, immunity good, hunger, fairly low, but I could eat something. Exhaustion high, of course. Infection is okay. Yeah, there's nothing I really need to do other than sleep. Wouldn't mind getting some food. Where the heck am I? Oh, there I am. Lost myself for a second. Um, I could sleep at anybody's house. What the heck? Let's stay in this neighborhood, near the meeting place. Let's go sleep at Anna's place, I guess. I hope there's a break in the fence over here. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go way around. Please. Please, please, please. Oh god, I don't think there is. <laughs> Shit, there isn't. There really isn't. Oh wait, there's break right there. A little bit further this way. Freaking plague rat. It's gonna come after me. <laughs> There's a murderer, guards! I'm not stepping a, a single foot forwards until those guards start beating up the murderer. There we go. Beta tablets. I think that's from the guard. Ah, some food over here. See if we can grab a bite to eat. Oh, I just visited this place. Hmm. I remember the townsfolk warned me not to eat any meat. Don't know whether I should believe them, but uh, I think I'm gonna avoid meat. Just in case. There's plenty of other options. There's bread, there's vegetables. Let's 
Let's see what kind of a store this place is. Ah, uh, medicine, okay. Looking for either food or clothes to buy needles. There's another store up here. Also a child I want to trade with. Uh, yep, that's food over there. Let's go visit that in a second. Exactly what I need. Oh, unfortunately, the only thing I have to trade for it is something that's worth five. That'd be overpaying in the extreme, so let's not do that. Hmm. It's getting hard to find the food that I want if I'm picky. Maybe I should just buy an egg. Eh, I'll just take an egg. I really don't think it restores as much as bread or canned vegetables, though. But it costs the same, so I think it's a waste. Hmm. I guess it's time to go sleep. Please do not take this the wrong way, Anna, but I want to sleep in your bed. Make a perma save in case I regret this. Alright, how much time do I have? It is 3 p.m.? Yeah, 3 p.m., and I need to meet them at 9, so I can sleep for... 9 minus 3... 6 hours. Of course, I want to sleep for maybe like 5 hours, since I want time to actually be able to walk there, and my health is... just okay. I definitely want to increase it, so let's drink something before I go to sleep. I guess just Meridorm. Yeah, let's take some Meridorm. I'll seriously just sleep for four hours. See how that is. Ugh, my infection's going up a lot. Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, I'm actually gonna take some... Let's take some of this and hope it doesn't kill me. Okay, it didn't. Reduce the infection by quite a bit. Good. Take some more Meridorm. Sleep for one more hour. Jesus, my exhaustion is still really freaking high. I guess taking the Meridorm didn't help. Mm. I think I fucked myself over there. Let's do this a different way. Let's take the antibiotics before I go to sleep. That way my health won't be reduced as much while I sleep. Then the Meridorm? The Meridorm really doesn't do that much. It's disappointing. Sleep for a full five. Yeah, it barely increases your health. But there we go. <laughs> that is way better. Look at my stats now. My health is well, still mediocre. Uh, but my exhaustion is almost completely gone and my infection is low. That's much better. And our meeting time is in 44 minutes. Right? Or is that fi 54 minutes? Sorry, 54 minutes. Alright, so I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go meet with Willow and Young Barak.